busted. So it's a full day of eating. I'm going to start out by having one of these cookies. They're very, very good. But before we get too far into the video, I'm going to have this whole cookie, by the way, which is two servings, like 380 calories. It's a snickerdoodle one. Very good. So before we get too far in the video, guys, I know I'm going to get some questions about this right here. That cut above my eye. It's definitely the most embarrassing way that I've ever injured myself. So I was walking to get the mail the other day, and I was looking at my cell phone. Let's pretend that the cookie is a cell phone. I'm walking down through the parking lot, not down the middle, but off to the side so a car doesn't run me over. There was a pickup truck, I guess, with a ladder hanging out the back of it. I didn't care about that. I was walking with my phone. I walked straight into that ladder at full speed. I hope no one saw me because I was so embarrassed. It like, Poo, like knocked me over or maybe I do hope someone saw it because if they would have seen that that probably would have made their day And they probably would have been laughing at how big of an idiot I was so moral of the story be careful where you walk in text First real meal of the day, very, very simple. You got some spinach and kale steamed up in there, three servings of some jasmine rice, and 120 grams of Beyond Beef. And of course, you've got to have it swimming in buffalo style hot sauce. So, meal one in the books. We are at McAllister's, it's like a sandwich place. You okay I'm over there? I'm trying not to. <laughs> so here's what I got for meal two. It's basically like a giant chicken baked potato with cheese on top of it. It's pretty good. Don't know the macros, I'm just gonna estimate them on my fitness pal. And Paige got, what'd you get? McAllister's Club and apparently they wanted to grill it today. So I got a grilled McAllister's Club and broccoli and cheddar soup. The best. All right, so I just got back from Walmart. Gonna make a delicious meal before the gym. I'm going to the gym at seven, it's like 5.40. Package one right here, one of one. Nice. Good material. This is from the good guys over at Ape. This is fresh, very, very fresh. So I got a dark one, the one that I have on, and I have, oh, that's cool. Some blue and gray. Very, very nice. Thank you very much to Ape for always keeping me stocked up. I'm wearing their shirt right now. Everything I have on is Ape. And I've got the food right here. What are we making? Let me show you. So I got some spinach. That's for later. Green beans. Here's the good stuff right here. So we're going with some mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, Pizza sauce, and you can see where this is going, right? Pizza crust and onions. So I got these are just two mini crust pizzas. I'm probably gonna eat them both. It has 190 calories per serving for four of those if I eat both of them. So who knows, I might just eat one, one after the workout, we'll see, but simple. We're making a pizza. And as much as I love this lightweight zip up hoodie. It's a little hot in my apartment right now, so I'm gonna take that off, flip on the air conditioner, because it's that time of year. I hate it when it's so hot. Outside, it makes your inside hot, and you have to just run the air conditioner, and you have like $110 heating and electric bill. Thumbs down. Definitely turning this on. 72 degrees. But one thing about me, I hate spending money. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I despise it. I hate spending money on things like electricity and air conditioning because it's like I'm already paying rent here. I wish it was just included. I wish the apartment complex was like, thank you for being a great tenant. All of that extra stuff is free. Why not? One time. Just one time. I would love it. It'd be a great surprise from the apartment complex. So these are looking pretty good. I got my two pizzas. Definitely gonna fill me up before my leg workout. And this is a problem. Look at this mess. So the oven is at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. These go in there for probably 10 minutes. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. What in the world? Stop making noise. That was weird. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, those are done. I've said it once and I will say it again, whenever you order pizza from wherever you go, keep the red pepper and the Parmesan package. Because the next time you have pizza or pasta, right there. And that is gonna set me back 600-ish calories. So who said pizza can't be a macro-friendly food? And fat-free cheese or low-fat cheese definitely like saves the pizza from being macro-friendly and not macro-friendly. Good job, fat-free cheese. I still need a little bit more carbs in me, I feel like, before the gym. So I've got one cup of orange juice, about 100 grams worth of banana. And then here I've got the raspberry lemonade my pre with five grams of creatine inside of it. That right there, that is the ladder I hit my head on. Walking right next to the cars, bam, pop my head on that ladder. Way to go. It is 9.30 at night right now and I just wrapped up legs and I haven't been posting many vlogs lately because my knee, my right knee, it still hurts. So I haven't been really like going hard on squats or deadlifts because it hurts to push through the ground. And that's why I've been posting a lot of chest workouts and that's why I've been posting more recipe videos because I still would rather post content than nothing at all. So I know some people have pointed out like you're just posting a lot of recipe videos lately. And yes, I know that. Yes, I like making the vlogs, but I don't like making vlogs where my workouts are just like, Hey guys, I'm gonna squat 225 for like two reps today and then my knee hurts, so I'm working on it. I need to work on the recovery aspect. I've gotta ice it every single day. When I iced it a lot, it started to feel better. I stopped doing it because I'm like, oh, I'm in the clear, and then it just quit feeling better. So I need to keep going, work on the recovery. So I just got back from the gym and this is what I'm gonna have here. So we'll start here. I got some freshly steamed green beans. You do this, this is how I do it. I don't have a steamer. I just use the colander, put it over some boiling water, and then put this on the top while it steams, and it works pretty well. So I've got lots of green beans. I had 55 grams of almonds here, a can of chili beans in the sauce, and up here I have the signature fruit and vegetable shake. This has raspberries, strawberries, cherries, and a lot of spinach in it. More water in this container, and 45 grams of some chocolate mint impact whey. So I'm in my bedroom right now, and you know what I realized, guys? I have never filmed in my bedroom. Normally I'm filming out in the kitchen, the living room, or the second bedroom, which is my office where my computer is. This is where I sleep. These are the blankets that I sleep on. So what am I doing now? I'm watching playoff basketball, Clippers, Trailblazers. It's like my favorite time of the year. It really, really is. I love watching basketball every night. So I'm gonna lay in bed, ice my knee. I need to get in the habit of doing that again, and then head to bed. So if you guys like the video, give it a like down below, and I will talk to you guys next time.